Alright, so the next step what you need to do is go and install your gateway. Okay, so from here, click I accept and click install. This will take some time. Okay, once done, it will prompt you to log in. Log in using the same email address, email address that you used to log in. And enter the password. The same thing, click skip for now. Okay, so from here, click register a new gateway on this computer. So over here, right, what you will need to do is go to your windows search bar and type cmd okay and press the enter key it will open a command prompt so from here what you will need to do is type who am i and press the enter key and you copy this name you paste it here remove the values until the slash and then type gateway so the next thing, the recovery key, you enter the same password that we, you used to log in. And then double check, make sure you are, at, you are at the correct region. For in this case, we will be using Southeast Asia. And then click done and click configure. Okay, so once configured successfully move this to the side you can close this and you can check from your portal go to data gateways you can see your gateway is installed here okay so now the next thing what i need to do is I go to and create a flow. So, sorry, click on my flows and click new flow. So, this is to test whether your gateway is working. Click on instance cloud flow, select manually trigger a flow and click create. And then click on new step and select desktop flows. Select the first one, run a flow built with Power Automate Desktop. Okay, so from here, you are required to create a new connection. So from here, select the first one. The gateway name is the one that you just created and domain and username. Okay, I shouldn't close that thing, but it's okay. I type again. Who am I? And I copy this. Okay, and the password is the password that you use to log in to your laptop. Please do not use your PIN number. Use the local password that you set. Let me create. It will take some time to load. Okay, so now once it's connected, you are able to see all this flow. For this case, I for your case, you won't be seeing any of this. For mine, I will. And then if you see here, right, you click on these three dots, it's a tick icon. Okay, so once done, you can actually save. Okay, I can't save because there's an error here. I can close this. And then this step is done. Okay, so now you can close. 